What is up guys, it's Kiwak here, and welcome to a holiday, somewhat, whatever you want to call it, update video. I know I did not upload yesterday on Christmas, this is Saturday night, so it might have been two days ago, or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Why'd I do that? I don't know. But, um, I didn't upload yesterday or today a normal upload, and that's because, of course, the holidays. I think, I plan to, but then, of course, everything, it was... It was a disaster. It was just a lot of stuff going on, but I had a good Christmas. I had a good Christmas. I hope all you guys had a good holiday season, whatever holiday you celebrate. And yeah, um, but my Christmas was good. I hope your holidays were good. I'm not trying to offend anyone, but Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody um, out there, even though I'm a little late and that shouldn't have gone off. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So let's just get into it. This is an update video about pretty much to let people know, hey, I didn't upload because of this, but uploads will resume on Monday. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go over a lot of stuff, and I'm going to go over this. Most of this stuff, most of this video will be repeated in another video. But I just wanted to upload something today to let people know why I didn't upload and just, like, what's going on next week because that's kind of still current. And now I'm going to just go overboard and explain the rest. Um... But, but, the situation at hand is, uh, my parents are going out, like, my family is going out camping, like I always do on New Year's, and they are leaving on Tuesday. So that means between tonight, tomorrow, and Monday, I have to record a lot of videos and upload them all. I mean, it's only six, I'm sorry about that background noise, it's only six videos, but, um, I could, I could, I could do that. It's honestly not going to be that big of a deal to record at all these. I just have to kind of spend, I have to devote my time to doing it. I can't, like, keep getting sidetracked with it. I just kind of got to focus on it until it's all done and then call it good. But, um, ooh, streaming Mario Kart tonight. Be there. <laughs> but, uh, it's my thing open. I guess it is. But as I was saying, as I was saying, um, I'm not going to be here for those days. So if you need to contact me, you can still contact me on Twitter. I don't know why I'm really bringing this up. It shouldn't. It's, it's kind of like a breaking the fourth wall and a breaking the fourth wall video. But um, in case anything doesn't get uploaded, and uh, I know people usually don't ask because I'm not big enough on YouTube for it, but it's like, oh my god, he missed our daddy's son! But um, I just want to let you guys know, I want to keep you in the loop about what's going on with uh, that, with the holidays and where I'm going. I'm going camping. So I won't be around between that time, so I can't record anything. I can't really do anything production-wise at all if I mess something up in a video and somebody's like, oh, you gotta fix this. And it's something that actually is kind of needs to be fixed or should be fixed, like it's something that major. I won't be able to do that. Um, that usually doesn't happen, though. that's not the case. But that's the YouTube front. The YouTube front will be fine with uploads as long as I just kind of power through the recordings. I already have, I think I already have most of them recorded. I got Tuesday's video ready. I have to edit Monday's video, but that's that's just editing. That's already recorded, so the long part's done. Longest part's done besides rendering, but that's, I don't have to be uh, attentive for that. And, um, do I have, let's see, that was episode six? So I also have um, Thursday's video recorded, just not edited. So I really only have to record three videos because I already have half of them done recording. So see, that's no time at all. That that could be done in a day, if not like a morning. So that's that's all fast. That will be taken care of. Um, so, but on the Twitch front, on the Twitch front of this, um, if you are a Twitch viewer who also watches my YouTube channel, then this becomes relevant to you. I really wish wish I could do um, updates to my Twitch viewers specifically without having to make a video on YouTube and direct them to it. I wish I could just say, hey, Twitch viewers, like, like have something to where if you go to my channel, it just pops up or Twitch, like, if you have channel notifications on, you can just, like, check it. I mean, I know I could do it as a stream archive or a stream highlight. Just record something, like stream it, and then archive or highlight it. I can't speak. But that's a little bit more difficult because people don't usually pay attention to those like you do a YouTube video. But on tw on Twitch, on streams, I will be streaming on Monday. That is without a doubt happening. I should be streaming tonight. I mean, this video is probably going to go up after stream. 
Um, this video is probably going to go up on Sunday, actually, considering I'm streaming tonight. But <laughs> or really, really late tonight, which might be Sunday morning-ish. But, um... Yeah, that's that's pretty much you you can you could check for a stream on Wednesday because I might stay and head out a day late. Um, I have to change my car oil. Dang it! Dang. But um, yeah, don't expect too much. Um, don't expect a for sure stream on Tuesday, and definitely do not even uh, don't expect any stream on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I mean, I might stream on Wednesday. I might hold out at home until Wednesday and whatnot, but, um, don't expect anything. Do not expect a Wednesday stream for sure, uh, at all. Like, don't, don't, don't even plan on it because I might head out Tuesday night to go. And then, what else, what else, what else? Don't, uh, well, I come back on Saturday, or my family comes back on Saturday, which is the day after, no. Yeah? Yeah. Because they want to leave on the second of the new year, but I kind of want to be home on the first of the new year to kind of stream, get stuff going. I won't have a new year stream because I'll be out there the night of New Year's, but I kind of want to get a New Year's Day stream going on. Um, so I might just come home on New Year's Day and stream. So you could kind of look for something like that, but if not, I'll just do that on Tuesday. I'll do a Happy New Year stream, and we'll do all of that. Um, so yeah, and also one more thing for all you YouTube people that don't actually have time to watch my Twitch uh, channel. Uh, the giveaway, the giveaway. I don't know if you guys were looking into that. Like, dang, I don't really watch Twitch, so I'm not going to enter that. But the giveaway has ended, and I want to give a quick shout out to the three winners, which were um, Jules got first place. Jules, uh, thank you, Jules, for participating. Tyson and Guad got second and third so thank you all for participating if you won or not and congratulations to the winners i wish everybody could win but unfortunately that's not in my budget and yeah yeah that happened that's done i gotta i still gotta work on that dude i still have to work on that but jules hasn't even emailed me back so i don't know how i'm gonna how i'm gonna ship it to him if he doesn't email me back but yeah <laughs> but Besides that, besides that, now we're going to go into a whole bunch of stuff that will be, um, this is all, hold on, I dropped something, this is all going to be re-uploaded, well not re-uploaded, um, redone. I'm going to re-record this and re-upload this, um, with like probably a little bit minor changes on New Year's night, whatever, everything going from here, like at midnight, as soon as the New Year hits my time, but... Um, what, 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 what we are planning for 2016, we have a lot of things planned. I'm going to go a little bit more in depth right now than I will in the actual New Year's video, just because I kind of want to explain reasoning for most of this stuff, which I, I've already recorded this video once. I'm doing this again because the audio quality came out weird for whatever reason. I don't even know why, but, um, I'm going to show off before I do that. Actually, I want to show off my Christmas gaming gear. Um, just because but okay here we have gift cards this is steam $20 steam I bought RPG maker VX ace because it's on sale and I really want that so I can make stuff like that crooked a little bit a little bit crooked I don't know screw it screw it um, Nintendo eShop money I don't know what I'm using this for yet at all that's just there and then um, Fallout 4 season pass receipt but yeah, what happened? Oh, um, alright, sweet. Sweet. But, um, that's just that stuff. I also got one more gaming gear sort of thing. Is this, it's called, I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. It's something very interesting called the Mod Mic. And, um, actually, if anybody has heard of it or used it, please, please let me know. Because this is what it is. It's pretty much a mic that you can attach to any pair of headphones. I put it on mine, tried it out. The audio quality was not what I wanted at all I don't know why it just wasn't working out for me but it wasn't so I need to either um, I need to either find a way to make the audio on that work out and be better quality I've heard videos of it and the audio quality sounds fine but when I put it in audacity and I used it in Camtasia as a test the only thing I didn't use it in was fraps which I used to record commonly or the Elgato software which I haven't used actually the software in forever and I didn't try streaming with it but the audio quality on it was just kind of kind of crapping out on me, so I, I decided, okay, you know what? 
I'll keep it. I'll tr I'll mess with it later after I get the time to because right now I'm kind of as I said, I gotta work on all this stuff for this next week coming up, and I got these New Year's plans I'm telling you about that I kind of want to focus on, and I gotta finish the design for the shirt that I gotta send out to the first place winner, but I'm gonna stick with this mic right here, the blue snowball for now. I'm sorry, that was so loud. I don't know why I did that, but I'm gonna stick with this for now because it works. I like the quality of it. I mean, I kind of want to get the updated blue snowball because this one's like, I think the old one. Uh, it doesn't even have like the three settings on the back, but... I, I like this mic for now. It's not. It's doing its job pretty dang well compared to uh, that mod mic. Even though that mod mic was pretty convenient, I did like it in that aspect. But um, I'm just. I have to wait on that. I have to wait on that and see if I could find a better way to do something with it. But yeah, for now we are sticking with this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my Christmas gaming gear. I got one more thing. I'm actually gonna show you guys right now. Okay, hold on. Hold on, green screen's not in effect either, I'm gonna talk about that too, why not? Let's just have a chat, have a chat. My sister got me this for Christmas, and I swear, this is the coolest thing I've ever received. It's a Deadpool bobblehead, and it's so cool, I love it, dude. I wish I had shelves back here, so I could just have him, I could just have him chilling right here every episode, or like over here, I could, I could put him on that little stand, but you wouldn't see that because of green screen effects I do now. But, um, yeah, green screen isn't on in videos like this, because obviously, my camera has, I, I guess you could say, green screen dead zones, because, uh, not only do I have this, well, I could take this blanket off, and then, that kinda, it reveals the wall. See that? That is the wall back there. So, I can't really, like, because the green screen's not, I, I could lower it, I might do that eventually, but, yeah, for now... We're not messing with it, we're going to just leave it. And then over there, obviously, all this stuff, this wall, is just wall. Like, I can't do anything about that. That's the corner of my room, and that's where I keep my calendar. I don't want to have to do everything over again with it. But the green screen's really freaking long, dude, because it goes all the way across that back wall. It, Yeah, I have a really just stupidly big green screen. But... Um, okay, back back on topic after I showed you guys that Christmas stuff we're done talking about. Um, and now we are going to talk about New Year stuff, New Year stuff. Alright, so for 2016, I have a goal, a plan, and more. I don't know, I'm just trying to... <laughs> um, I'm going to start with kind of the big thing that's probably going to be at the end of the official video, which is our goal for the year of 2016. And my goal is for the end of 2016 to have hit 1,000 subscribers. And people are going to look at me, people are going to hear me say that, and the first impression a lot of people are going to get out of that statement is, you're only doing videos for subscribers, right? Because you have a goal, you want to get more subscribers. And, um... My response to this, if anybody is thinking that, I might just be overreacting to it, but my response to that is pretty much, you gotta put it in perspective of, you gotta put yourself in my shoes, and if you're a content creator, you're already in my shoes, so you understand it, and or you gotta put yourself in, uh, just try to relate to it with something else, like, um, anything, any, any career, quote unquote career path, that is solely dependent on um, your support that you gain and the discovery that you gain um, is something that kind of you have to you have to think about because when it comes to doing YouTube or making music or um, I guess being an actress I don't know anything about the film industry so I don't know too much of it right there but when it comes to something like YouTube or making music because I do know a little bit about making music I know a lot about YouTube obviously <laughs> Um, but a lot of it comes down to how much support you have, and in the end, that turns into how many, how many, your audience, that's the word I, I should look for to kind of make it more relatable to more people, but your audience is so important, because in music, your audience is the people that, in the end, if you ever make it into the music career, where you're getting paid to do this for, like, a living, that's your primary job, you need an audience, you need a fan base that's going to buy your music, because that's how you make your living. Um, and it's the same thing with YouTube, but it doesn't cost people anything to watch your content, it's a little bit different in that aspect. But in YouTube, 
to make it on YouTube, you need viewers. And a lot of people don't understand this because they don't do it and they just don't think about it. Or they're too young because a lot of the YouTube audience is pretty young from what I've noticed. But what they have to understand is when you look at a big YouTuber um, such as Shady Penguin, um, uh, the King Nappy, I'm naming PokeTubers, so that's what I watch primarily. And then we'll go into people like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and PewDiePie. When you look at people like that, they don't just make videos all day and get paid because they make videos. They don't just like, oh, we get paid to do this. No, they have to have, the reason they get paid to do it, which I'm, which everybody can tell, is because of how many people watch their videos. And it's all based on ad revenue, so... It doesn't cost you anything to watch their videos, except 30 seconds of watching an ad, or 5 seconds even if it's a skippable ad, which are the only ads I like to put on my videos, or skippables. Um, if I ever needed to put, like if I started depending on it, I might add unskippables, just because it would help, like, bring income in and make it easier on me, unless I was already living comfortably off skippable ads, and that would be different. But, a lot of, like, it, it's just human nature when it comes to stuff like that, especially when it's kind of required to go anywhere with it, it's human nature to want to grow and want to expand and want to reach out to more people with a career where pretty much you're doing you're doing this, you're making this to entertain. Um, when I create a YouTube video, I'm not just just creating a YouTube video and uploading it to YouTube for no reason. I'm not just like, oh, here YouTube video. I don't know why I do this. No. It's not like, oh, I'm playing the game and having fun, might as well talk over it and make a video. I mean, that's part of it, but the big thing, the big thing I focus on at least, and I think most content creators do, or should, is um, enjoying, is, is enjoyment for the viewers. You want to make something that is going to entertain someone. You want to make something that somebody is going to enjoy watching. You don't want to just make a video for no one to watch. You want you want to have people enjoy it and you want to have more people enjoy it than the people that already do you want to reach out to more people so that they can enjoy your content um, and that's the way I look at it at least I mean other people might look at it like oh I wanted to reach out to more people so I get more money because like I love doing it like people some people are like that some people are like that they still love doing it but um, at a point they might want to just expand to make more money and from my, my point of view is, like, YouTube is my dream job. I don't like even calling it that. I hate calling YouTube my dream job. It's my, I, I just like saying more of YouTube is my dream, is to be, um, to be able to do YouTube without the worries of having to work another job or do other things. Just being able to work YouTube and focus purely on YouTube and Twitch is just my dream because it's what I love doing and I can't see myself doing anything else. And I, I love being able to have people watch and enjoy my videos and love my content. And so that's really what I'm going for here. I'm kind of trying to bring my content to more people, which is why I set the goal of a thousand subscribers. And that might be thinking big, but the support you guys have shown and everybody who uh, subscribes to me has shown in the past month, ever since I started re-uploading and starting new series and collaborating with more people, is insane. I've gotten more subscribers this month than I think I've gotten in like. It, well, it's, it's definitely been my best month on YouTube, but my sub count is just growing like really fast, and that's like crazy to see that people. Like the way I'm looking at it is, if you're subscribing to me, you're enjoying my content. So seeing more people come in and come in, it means more people are finding my content and enjoying it, and that's like just that makes my day. That more people that I'm I'm putting a smile on more people's face or I'm keeping more people from being trapped in boredom I guess I don't know but people are watching my videos and they're liking them obviously so that just makes me happy personally because it makes me feel like I'm doing something good for somebody else even though it's not like I'm feeding the homeless or anything like that and I'm not going to compare it to that well I am but no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna compare it saying that it's close to that feeding the homeless doing stuff for charity that's far better than ever making a YouTube video for some kid who has the ability to watch it. Or somebody who has the ability to watch it. Like, I'm, I'm not the greatest person in the world. Don't think I'm praising myself for saving the planet or stopping starvation or something. Or just something weird like that. I just, I feel like I'm doing something good for somebody else. Even though it's not like I'm doing something great for a whole bunch of people that need it the most. 
just because I can't really afford to do a lot of that right now. But um, I do plan, if I ever make it big, you could bet that I will be doing a lot of charity things. I've already done one charity event. It didn't turn out that well, but I do want to do more charity events. I want to actually do a lot for charity if I ever make it. That's what I've always kind of told myself is, hey, we're going to make a difference somehow since uh, people have shown their support to me. I want to give back to other people, you know, which is kind of why I've done two giveaways because I like giving back. I, I'm not doing it to grow myself. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't do a giveaway on Twitch to grow my audience because when I did that giveaway, I don't think anybody followed on Twitch or subscribed on YouTube purely because I was doing a giveaway. But all three people that won are pretty much regulars, and I love that because I'm giving back to them for them showing their support. But um, enough of that, enough of that talk. Like I said, it's going to be a long video because I'm going to explain pretty much everything in depth. Uh, just because I do want to have it out there. I want this to be on YouTube. Uh, so if anybody ever comes back and says, hey, you're just doing it for the money, I'll show him, hey, watch this video. This video explains everything. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the enjoyment of other others, and I love doing it. I love other making other people love something. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to explain. It's hard to put into words, in all honesty, for at least for me. Other people who are more well-spoken probably could word that out a lot easier, but I can't. Um, okay, so that's our sub goal, 1,000 subs. If we make it, that's freaking going to be amazing. I'm going to have a huge sense of accomplishment more than if I didn't have a goal. And I just feel like it's going to bring the Cuba Force closer together. Um, but if we don't make it, I'm not going to be destroyed about it. I might be a little upset for like a day, but it's not going to bring me down. It's not going to stop me from doing what I do because I do love doing this. And I'm going to try to do it as long as I can until life catches up with me and I'm working all the time in a real life job in an office or whatever I'm doing. But, um, what's next for 2016? 2016, there's actually a lot of stuff going on. Um, kind of. My role play is going to come back. Pixelmon Worlds will be coming back, hopefully, on the first of the year. I want to get that done before I go camping, and I want to get that scheduled for the first of the year. I want that to come back. I've been working on it. I'm just really, really rusty at the commentary and the reactions and all that. So it's going to take a little bit to flow back into that. But um, I've been really thinking about this series all the time. I love doing role plays because it's like I'm making my own world out of something. I'm not let's playing a game. I'm making my own story for once. And um, pretty much, pretty much what is going on with that is a uh, it's just, it's cool, it's cool. Like I just said, I get to make my own story, which is why I like doing the roleplay so much, and I've been thinking, like, every day at work, when I'm doing stuff that doesn't take a lot of attention, like I'm just sweeping up, or I am just doing, just doing, yeah, I can't really explain in depth what I'm doing, because nobody would really get it, not many people would understand it, but just say I'm doing something that doesn't take a lot of attention, like it's not that important, it's just something that needs to get done, I'm always thinking of the next episode, of the next season, I've already gotten the ending planned out for that series, and I always think about that ending, and I tweak it, finding every little like dialogue that could make it a little bit better, that could make it much better, I'm always, I'm always working on that in my head, which is crazy, because I already got the entire last season planned out, and I still have to work on the in-between seasons before I get there, but... That will be coming back, Pixelmon Worlds. Hopefully, I can get a video a week out. I'm not going to do two videos a week again, because that is a lot of work when you're doing a lot of other series. Because keep in mind, when I first did two videos a week, um, the two videos a week were the only videos I was doing. That series was the only series I uploaded for the uh, entirety of that series, just because I didn't have anything else going on. But right now, I have uh, Alpha Sapphire Randomizer going on. I have Elements Season 2 going on. And that's the only two series I have going on right now. But we're bringing a third into the mix, which is the roleplay. But um, early January, Element will be ending. As you guys all know, it's only 15 episodes. And then the tournament. So depending on how far I make it in the tournament, that series will be ending sometime in January, pretty much early on. And that series I don't know what I'm going to replace with yet. So leave that in the comments what you think I should replace that with. Because that is like a huge issue for me. I'm like, okay, I don't want to be doing one series. I want to be putting out at least two series at a time with the same schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for one, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for the other. Um, so, if you guys have any ideas whatsoever on what I should do after Elements, let me know because I am lost. Uh, <laughs> 
and then and then we got we got we got the Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Nuzlocke which I've done the math I'm expecting that series to end either late January or early Fe February I don't know if it will end sooner if it will end later I could be all wrong but I'm just guessing based on my last let's play of Omega Ruby on my old channel and um, that series I already have a replacement for planned which in all honesty was supposed to be the series I did first but then I was like, I randomized 6th gen, and I freaked out and recorded a video that same, like, seriously, five minutes after I got it working. I was like, okay, I'm recording. And then I was like, crap, I totally didn't get this right at all. I did not do this how I wanted to do it. So I, I, I'm switching that series from Alpha Sapphire to a different game, and uh, we're going to do that next, which I'm super hyped about. Um, and it's pretty much going to start as soon as that series ends, like the week after, so you guys have nothing to worry about a gap with uh, Nuzlocke content. It, it is a Nuzlocke variant. Um, a variant, however you pronounce it, I don't know, I don't pronounce words correctly, but there's nothing really, there's nothing really to worry about on that front, because after the Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Nuzlocke's done, we will have another Nuzlocke rolling in, I'm not going to release any more details except that it is a Nuzlocke, and that's going to roll in and take its place, and it's going to be, um, hopefully better, even better than this series, I'm really excited for it, and then, yeah, so... Uh, the only series I really do not have an idea what I'm going to do with, schedule-wise, is, um, after Elements, because pretty much Elements is taking the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday slot, and then Worlds is going to take the Sunday slot, so I'm going to have Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday open, but I don't want to upload content other than Pokemon or Pixelmon, to be honest, because, in all honesty, back to the thing, you want to strive, you want to grow, um, as well as doing what you doing what you love, you want to grow doing what you love. I should say, um, that's how I should word it. Is uh, I don't want to upload a series that isn't going to get good views because even if I'm enjoying making the series, if nobody's watching it, nobody's enjoying it, and that goes against everything I'm standing for right here, making these videos for people to enjoy. If I get a series with low views, that means um, one or two people are enjoying it rather than as all my usual amount of subscribers that enjoy that video or enjoy a series because I could better place my time into a series that everybody will enjoy rather than a select few if you know what I'm saying it's, it's majority rules I can't please everybody I can't focus on every individual and make a series for all of them to enjoy as much as I wish I could but um, we just got I gotta focus on on you guys as a whole more than you guys individually even though I love each and every one of you guys individually I can't just uh, pump out videos for singular people in a crowd of people it's it's but um <laughs> I just gotta I gotta I gotta focus on everybody rather than somebody if you know what I'm saying but that's why I, I'm not gonna because I, I got Assassin's Creed Syndicate for Christmas I got a whole bunch of other games I want to get I want to get Super Mystery Dungeon but I, I'm not gonna let's play that just because I already know everything about it I've seen a let's play but um, there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff I do want to I do want to start um, playing and uh, on Twitch that's what Twitch is so cool for because if a game wouldn't be enjoyed on YouTube if I can't if I if I wouldn't get good views on YouTube I could always stream it and I'd still get my usual group so I, I could stream all those games all those extra games so there's nothing to worry about there it's not like I'm taking away my enjoyment from a game just because of what, it's not gonna get good views because I got I gotta focus on the things like I got this game over here which is gonna get no views and I got this series over here which is going to get good views so I could either play this game that I'm going to enjoy and nobody else is going to enjoy watching, or I can play this series that I will probably still enjoy and everybody will enjoy watching. Either way, I'm still gonna play this game over here that um that no that nobody's gonna watch on YouTube. I'm still gonna play the game and enjoy it regardless. So that's that's my look on the whole thing. So don't ever think that I am doing a certain series just because I want more views. I'm going to do the series that I expect to get more views, but it's not like I'm enjoying it any less than I would the other series. Don't ever think that. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably over-exaggerating over a lot. I mean, I have 250 subscribers. It's not like I'm the hugest YouTuber in the world, but the small group I do have, we're a good bunch. I love all you guys, but um, yeah, I, I think that pretty much wraps it up, though, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to wrap it up there because this 
video's already been going on for like 30 minutes. So, um, thank you all very much for watching this. I hope you guys understand. And once again, leave your suggestions for what should happen after elements in the or in the description in the comments below. So I know. I mean, I'm gonna read every single suggestion. I'm going to try to uh, find the one that I would enjoy the most and. Um, once again, I'm just going to rule them out until I find the best option that's a good balance of my enjoyment and your enjoyment. Um, because that's that's my ideal thing, to where I can enjoy it and you guys can enjoy watching it. It's not something that I'm going to have a lot of fun with and you're going to have no fun with, or you're going to have all like the most fun with and I'm going to hate it. I'm not going to do either of those two. I'm going to find the best balance. So, um, yeah guys, if you watch this entire video, comment cake batter chapstick. Just do it. That shows that you are... Cubo Force. But as always, guys, my name is Cubowack. I am signing out, and I will catch you guys in the next video on Monday. Out Sapphire, or whenever you're watching that video, whatever you watch. I don't know. I'm out of here. Yeah.